Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a professional watermark in Adobe Illustrator. Here's our logo and as you can see when I go into wireframe mode it's made out of um, paths so it's a vector but this is also possible with uh, PNG. You want to just select your logo, go to object, pattern and make and then um, just select OK and we can just name this our watermark and uh, the tile type will differ for each logo. Since my logo is horizontal, I think brick by row looks best, but if your logo is vertical, then you might want to select brick by column. So I'll just select brick by row, and then I'll just change my width since it's overlapping here to something like 1250, hit tab, and that adds some nice spacing. And then for the copies, I think the more the better, since it is a watermark, you want it to cover as much space as possible. And then I'll just click done. And then I'll just delete this logo. And then selecting our rectangle tool, I'll just make a square over our image. And then just select our new swatch that we made. That is added in our swatches here. And you can also find that up at the top. And you may want to change the color of your watermark depending on the image that it's covering. And you can easily do that by selecting our new swatch, selecting your original image and then just selecting your color here and changing that to whatever you want. And another good thing to note is you can change the scale of this. This might look kind of weird after you've created a pattern. I typically make the watermark way bigger than the artboard and then I will reselect the swatch and then right click transform and scale. And then you can scale it down this way depending on you know how big you want it to look. And you can also rotate your image by going to transform and rotate and just using the arrow keys to rotate your watermark. But yeah, that is how you can easily create a professional watermark in Adobe Illustrator. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.